Pastor Ted Wilson had this interview on ANN about his duty as the General Conference President and he issued this disclaimer to all Adventists. Well, let me just first uh, bounce off of something you said in the introduction that in a kind of a disclaimer, if people write to our office, and let me tell you, a lot of people do. They write emails, they write letters, they, you know, phone calls, whatever it is. And they do expect uh, the president to take action and solve all the problems. Well, I have to give a disclaimer that... You know, I can't solve all the problems, but... What? But what? We are going to talk about this interview. So if you are interested, I would encourage you to keep watching and don't go anywhere. You know, friends, Pastor Ted Wilson is the president of the General Conference and he is considered the head of the World SDA Church. But in real fact, Christ is the head of the church and Pastor Ted is only serving under Christ. Now, some Adventists seem to have problem with Pastor Ted's leadership and say a lot of things about him. But in this interview, he explained himself. So let's go ahead and listen to him. Well, let me just first uh, bounce off of something you said in the introduction that in a kind of a disclaimer, if people write to our office, and let me tell you, a lot of people do. They write emails, they write letters, they, you know, phone calls, whatever it is. And they do expect uh, the president to take action and solve all the problems. Well, I have to give a disclaimer that, you know, I can't solve all the problems. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we, we are here to facilitate and to nurture people to f focus on the mission. That's really what it's all about. A lot of times you get mired down in problems and challenges and disagreements and people are upset, you know, about this or that. And really, we try as much as possible to help those things be solved at the lowest level possible where those situations occur. But it doesn't mean that we're totally deaf to try to help people at every level. Uh, we do have quite a structure in the General Conference that helps in the management of the overall aspects of our work. You mentioned vice presidents. We have seven vice presidents who take care of overseeing different departments of the church, act as advisors to those departments. They chair different boards of the General Conference. They chair committees that are organized. They are an extension, if you will, of my office. Uh, when I say my office, I approach this in a very humble way because being the president of the general conference is an impossible job, uh, essentially, except that you lean on the Lord every day. You ask the Lord to give you wisdom every day. And then entrust the church into God's hands. Uh, we're not a hierarchical arrangement. I don't just proclaim something and it happens. You know, you, you have to work with people. As we've referenced in, a, in, in another podcast, we are organized in a representative church governance arrangement. So you have to work with people, you have to work with committees. For instance, um, there is a president. In m most of our organizations, we have a president, a secretary, not to be confused with an office secretary, but a secretary of an organization. Uh, and not to say that office secretaries are not extremely important as well. They are, but this is a position. And then a treasurer or chief financial officer. Uh, these individuals work in tandem. They work together in church organization. Uh, but they don't necessarily, the secretary and treasurer, report to me. They report, all of us, all three of us report to the executive committee. That's another safeguard so that you don't have, you know, 
the president of an organization calling all the shots. That's not the way it works. You work in a collaborative way. I have to tell you, um, personally, we have a wonderful group right now that is working together in such a dynamic way. Uh, the, the, the secretary, Pastor Kohler, uh, the treasurer, uh, Pastor Douglas, and we work in a, in a very harmonious manner. We bounce ideas off of each other. We share things. We collectively try to come to a consensus on certain things as to how things ought to be directed, which committees they should go to, etc. So the administrative structure of the church is not just the president's office. It is secretariat and treasury. Well, it's a long interview and I have linked the full video in the description. Um, so if you are interested in watching the full interview, you can go to the description and click the link over there. It will take you to that video and you would have the chance to watch the full clip. So in all, Pastor Ted Watson is telling all Adventists that he is not a kind of leader who wakes up and just give instruction for the whole church to follow. Instead, he works in a collaborative way. He works with the unions, the divisions, the conferences to get things done or to get issues solved in the Seventh-day Adventist church. So if you are expecting Pastor Ted to come up and give instructions concerning what to do and what not to do, then you would probably be disappointed because he says that is not his style of leadership. He works with all others to get things done. Now, friends, after this interview, there were some Adventists that came and shared their views on what Pastor Ted said concerning his office and how things are done within the general conference. This person said, this helped me understand why you vote by consensus. I was taught in school that consensus voting was anti-democratic and accordingly wondered why the church tended to vote that way. I think I agree with it more now. This person also says, Elder Ted, thank you for your leadership of this church. I thank God for giving you the guidance, strength, and wisdom for the sacred and spiritual responsibility of your position. This person also says, Pastor Ted Wilson, I am humbly inspired of your articulated insights. I praised our dear Lord Jesus Christ for his Holy Spirit upon thee. Truly, we have one Lord God, one Savior, Jesus Christ. This person also says, why you don't preach about the papacy? And is that thing in the pipeline now? This person also says, Ted Wilson is no longer an SDA. Mm. The president should resign urgently. So you can see that there are some Adventists who do appreciate the work of Elder Ted Wilson and also there are some who actually find problem with Elder Ted Wilson's leadership. So now the question is, what do you think of Pastor Ted Wilson's leadership and what do you expect of him as the president of the general conference? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section. This is all that I had to share with you today. As usual, my name is Brother Lawrence and I do share with you what is going on in and outside of the church. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do that so that you don't miss any video I publish. Thank you for watching once again. See you next time.